What up, family? This is Gary Lamb signing on again, and today I wanted to talk to you about giving yourself. I was on a live, I think it was yesterday, actually, and I was talking to one of my subs, shout out to David, and um, he was saying some things on how he he's still emotionally tied to what he's done in war. A lot of people are dealing with that. A lot of people deal with that. And uh, it's a lot of times it has very little to think to do with what they saw. It has a lot more to do with what they've done. To see them go to that darkest, deepest place in their mind and then come out of it and see what they've done, it's, it's very difficult to deal with. A lot, of, a lot of people are dealing with that. And I've been thinking about Dave ever since. So I decided to make a video about it just to show my gratitude for what he's done and all those soldiers out there that went out their way and their lives on the line for this country. And they're dealing with mental issues, emotional issues. They're dealing with all kinds of stuff now. I want to say thank you. And I also want to say you need to forgive yourself. You have to let that go somehow. The only way you're going to fully heal. You got to let that go. Now, I don't know what that looks like. I've never dealt with that type of issue. So I, I couldn't even begin to help you. But you have to find a way to forgive yourself. Because you've already been forgiven. No doubt about it. You've already been forgiven. And it's about time you let that go. And live your life. Maybe it's accepting that's who you were at the time. And you're not that person anymore. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's what it takes for you to get over it. But whatever it is, forgive yourself. Find a way. Find a way. Because we need our soldiers back, man. <laughs> we like y'all too. I think that's my cue. <laughs> Somebody revving their engine. <laughs> I wish I had my Stang. That'd be awesome. Well, listen, if you would like to subscribe, go right ahead, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be coming out with a lot more content. Um, if you really want to support the channel, the best way to support the channel is through Gorilla Mind. They're a supplement company that uh, <laughs> they work with me. And, you know, they got some specials going on for uh, Black Friday. So go ahead and hit the link below if you're interested in that. Thank you, guys. You have a good one. Can't find his comment. Anyway, I'm going to just read it out then. Dave, Dave said, hold on, hold on. Dave said, I can't see, uh, um, see, I can't get past that one. I've killed many people, 48 to be exact. I live with it every day and I feel guilty for it too. So if we are judged on the guilty heart, then I will be going to hell. Yes. And I don't believe that is the case. You see, David should have gone to hell if that's the case, because he killed far more people than you did and he enjoyed it. He enjoyed it. He believed he was doing God's work. And, 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 and God, he was after God's own heart. It says it all the time. God really loved himself some Dave. I mean, that's according to the scriptures. And he said, yo, there are certain things you can't do because your hand is, 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 is stained with blood. He was like Kortos out there. Kortos, Kork, Kork, Kork. What is that God of War? What is his name? Um, Kortos, Kork, God, friggin'. I suck at names, guys. I really am that bad. But, uh, you know, that, that's where I'm, I'm coming from. He, he, he was after God so hard. So, Dave, listen. I want you to let that go. He loves you for who you are. He made you this way for a reason. Now, I don't know why you killed those people, but you need to let that go for you. 
You see, you're reliving something you don't have to relive, man. You don't have to. You repented for that. I know you did. So why are you why are you beating yourself up for it? You have to forgive you now. You've been forgiven. I can I can guarantee that. But you need to forgive yourself. Stop hurting yourself because of it. Stop. Forgive yourself, man. There's no reason for you to hurt anymore. Yes, but it's not impossible. It's not impossible. You can forgive yourself and you can do it right now if you wanted to. Ask yourself, what's the reward that I'm getting for this? What am I addicted to? Is this my way of making sure I never go there again? Ask yourself that. You have to dig deeper here. I'm sure you can. Now, I'm not going to say it's going to be easy, man. It might cause you to cry. It might cause you to relive those horrible times and let it scream out. It might cause you to be in a fetal position. I've been there many times. It might even get so dark that you can't stand it. But trust he will hold your hand when you go through it. Trust it. Trust he will hold your hand. Because he will. Hell, I get in his lap. I ain't ashamed to say it. I get in my daddy's lap. Daddy, hold me. I'm scared. I don't. I, you might just need a hand. I get in his whole lap. Put your arms around me. Grab the blankets. I I, I want to feel safe. Daddy, help me. Shit. I ain't afraid. Shit. I'm touch. I'm in touch with my feminine self. I'm touching my feminine energy. I have no problem with being held. Hold me. I need to be held. But maybe you're a masculine man, manly man, where you just need somebody just to hold your hand. That's all you need. And if that's all it is, take that. Take whatever you got. Whatever you need to do it, but get through that shit. Get through it. Because we need our soldier back, man. And you're holding yourself back because of it. Get through it. Whatever happened to you in your past, you got to let that go because it's causing, it's costing you people all over, bro. It's costing you. You know it. It's costing you. Maybe the reason why you won't let people get close. Because you're afraid you might become that enemy, that, 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 that a monster again. And you won't. He got you. You won't. Let it go. 